It is about 2.30. I'm on my way to going back home. I got to pick up Chloe, take her to the vet again. Nothing, nothing wrong. It's just a follow-up visit to make sure that everything's okay. Um, something wrong with my signal. It does it every so often when I turn it on. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it is 50 degrees outside and I'm burning up. I feel like, I mean, gosh, it's so freaking hot right now. And like, I wasn't expecting, I mean, like 50 degrees outside, okay, nice temperature, good, cool, I can deal with it. But gosh, I feel like I'm in the middle of summer for some reason. Like, I'm actually sweating. But, yeah, I mean, you, I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera or not, but my windows are actually starting to fog up. <laughs> but, um, tomorrow, I'm going back to the other location for the programming portion of my job, and I still don't know what I'm doing there. And, as in, I, nobody's trained me. The system is very old. It's, they give me like these small things, like here's your reports to try to do. And like, hey, can you help pull this report for me? And I'm like, okay, cool, let me try to figure it out. And it's taken me so long to figure it out because so much stuff is strewn throughout the database and it's inconsistent. Like half of my job I like because I like both parts of it. I'm just, this is more of a, one of those win win. Uh, you're completely, it's, it's not a big, it's not something that's really that big of a deal. But, um, uh, brain went blank. They, um, I'm trying to do this, but the information is so, is uh, just really badly put into the database. And when you start looking for that, trying to pull a report, you're like, wait a minute. This says it's this person did this. This says this person did this for the same thing. Why don't these match up? Then there's other things that don't quite match up. Like one things will have certain measurements on it. Another one won't. Another one will have them, but they don't match the other, the other one. And it's just like, okay, why is it none of this match up? And I don't, and the thing is, is I... I now that I found some things, I'm going to, I need to talk to them about it. Say, hey, I found this these issues. Can you guys help me out with this? I don't know why. But yeah, so tomorrow, I'll be going to go do that. Everything will be so much fun. Waiting for a guy to turn. There we are. He was kind of angled funny. I didn't know which way he was going. But anyways, I'm going to go get the puppies. i got to take Thor with me because if I don't, he gets upset because of, uh, okay, yeah, they're turning off. But he gets upset, he can't be left, in the, he won't be, like, he won't like to be left in the house alone without Chloe there, so I gotta take them both to the vet with me, no matter what, I'm just taking one. That's the same way, if I take Thor to the vet, Chloe has to come with me or she gets upset. But anyways, talk to you a little bit later tonight. Well, I don't have my little buddy with me tonight. He's actually already asleep. <laughs> Thank heaven. Um, so yeah, like I had every intention of going to the gym today. But, just started basically, I played a game. And after I did, well first, I cooked, played a game. Because Adrian fell asleep a little early. And I was looking at my watch, I was like, eh, yeah. I should have went about an hour ago. <laughs> So, not really paying attention to the clock, I really missed my opportunity to go. But, anyways, um, today took Chloe back to the vet, and she has no more kidney stones, or bladder stones, whatever, I think it's bladder, bladder stones. Uh, so good, so happy. I just got to take her back next week for one more follow-up because I had put the eye drops in her eye today. They, they said, well, next time, we want to see about another week out with her just eating her food without her on her medication. And they want to um, do another uh, 
to your test or something like that. Basically, they put this piece of paper and like this drip in her eye to see how much tear production she has. And she wants me like basically a night before, like to put it in the night before, but not put any that day, so they can so that the eye will have be what it what's producing just that day. And if it doesn't produce enough, then we'll probably be she'll be on permanent uh, drops for her eyes because right now her eyes are a lot better. She's not like squinting and like blinking and doing all that stuff that she used to do. Um, I'd like it if she didn't have to use the eye drops, but if she has to, no big deal. I'll give them to her. I don't find to do that every day. Um, but the fact that she's just, I, mean, I could tell she's feeling a lot better because just the way she's been playing and doing everything. But the fact just to hear the vet say it just made me so happy. I mean, to hear her say, well, do the ultrasound, and she has none. <laughs> I was like, yes. <laughs> So yeah, I'm uh, very ecstatic, very excited about that. Um, then there's, uh, shoot, what was it? Oh yeah, um, like we don't like our son to touch the garbage can, like to open the lid and stuff. Like we just don't want him to do it. It's just like don't do it because it's a garbage can. It's nasty. I get home today, and. Like, um, her, his grandmother changes his diaper. And and then he walks up, and he gets the diaper, and he goes over the garbage can, lifts the lid up, and throws the diaper away. And, so, and she's happy about that. And I'm just there thinking, and I'm like, during the day, my wife says, I'm like, why does he keep going over the garbage can and lifting the lid up? Why He knows I don't want him to do that. Well, the grandparents actually evidently want him to do it, to throw things away. And I'm just like, okay, <laughs> this is, so basically now, probably every day or every night, we're going to start wiping down the garbage can so that he, that it's not a big deal. But, uh, I mean, you just, I mean, you, you throw things in the garbage, that's the reason why our garbage can is one of those, you use your foot, you push down and the lid comes up, because we don't even touch it. But anyways... There's a little nitpicky things. I understand. It's like, oh my god, that's what all you gotta worry about. Yeah, actually. <laughs> so I mean that's actually not much to worry about. It's just one of those little nitpicky things that uh people go take people to deal with. Um I understand my problems aren't that big. I'm not saying, oh my god, it's a little lot. No, it's not. Um Still playing around with Teddy Ruxpin, trying to get him to work again. Just can't. I don't know what's going on. Hoping I can get to work again. I mean, I'm, the thing is, I'm not playing around with it for like hours and hours. I mean, I'm like, like going, eh, let's try it. Nah. Shoot, it didn't work. So I don't know. It may just be gummed up inside of it. So I might, you might be able to loosen it up and it worked for a day or two. And then it might just like, and if you don't use it for like a week or two, it might get frozen, like, uh, seeds back up again. So... Those are things I'm trying to do right now. Um, also, I am getting into... If I can grab it right here. I think I've shown this these before. These are some, like, uh, solo adventures. I'm pretty sure I've shown these before. Um, it's like a... Kind of like a choose-your-own-adventure book. And... Uh, I keep try I keep meaning to get these out and play them. I get them out and I'll put them somewhere and end up I, I can't I won't be able to do it that day and I'll end up putting them back up. But these were made by some what, what's I don't even I remember the name of the website. Uh, Dark City Games, yeah. Basically, you have a you cut this out, this is the enemy sheet. You have a little map. Well it's not actually it's so little, but you have a map here. And depending on what scenario on you, you'll only use a part of it. It'd be like, okay, use just this middle part, or you'll just use section C or B or A or D, like that. And it's like, oh, there's it point four is a cert is where you put it in and things like that. But this is the key right here. What you have is this shows you how to basically you have your character you create your character. 
and then you start on a space station and you start at uh, beginning you begin go to zero 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 and begin if they're all all these things are numbered and like um and it's like this right here. oh he, here's this one it says uh this is the docking bay the vacant the vacant bay it's very hard to read when the light is behind the book and it's like makes it really dark here because the light's shining in your head face um the vacant bay lies still the darkness there is nothing here to explain there's nothing here to explain the station the, the station's condition if you have the pilot word now go to 27 otherwise you may leave to spin word or let me turn this so I can actually read it <laughs> counter so basically you at you it tells you it, goes, it tells you what section to read so it's like okay go to spin word you go to 89 to counter you go to 115 okay and you go like oh let's see here here's 89 and this is sector 2 course and it basically has this thing and you go through and sometimes there's battles when there's battles it tells you what enemies to put up there and it's actually really fun these type of things I've actually never played this one specifically and they're great for like when you have like a um, if you want to play a game and I understand some people are just like wait I can just pull out my DS or Game Boy or like that. I do that too a lot, but sometimes, as some people say, I like to roll the dice because <laughs> there is dice rolling in this. You need a, you do need a D6. So I've actually got two of these. I actually got these quite some time ago, and um, uh, the oh god, I can't remember his name right now. But there's an, this guy from uh, he's. Um, Italian, I think, and he does the, this um, this um, web show, like a or a YouTube. He has a YouTube channel, and he had a thing. A Kickstarter wants to do it, and they could, if you paid a certain amount, you could get certain things. And I got the one for this, and these are the, actually the two I got from him that I've never done yet. Holy cow, it's been so long. But anyway, put those back over here. Uh, don't pull my cord out. <laughs> All right, but. So that's, that's kind of things I'm planning on doing and what to do here soon. Um, I have no idea if I'll ever play this. This has been sitting here in my room. I've actually had this for quite some time. I kept forgetting to put it in my uh, pickup studios. I like dice, things like that. But I'm not sure if, if I'll have anybody around that's a fan of Big Bang Theory and wants to play this because it's a little... Um, it's a little, it's a little, I don't know, it's a little weird. But some people like really quick dice games. I mean, I have this zombie dice one. <laughs> Here. And this is literally, it's about as simple of a game as you can get. Um, you pull out three of these, and you keep going. You So, is it three? I think yeah, you pull out three, you roll them, and you're trying to get as many brains as you can. Well, if you get two, is it two or three gunshots, your, your, your turn's over. You go back. You either stop at a certain point, you get the number of points you have for brains, or you keep pressing your luck. And uh, so, yeah, it's like the red dice has the most bangs on it, so it's the worst for you. The green, the yellow dice have two, I think, on it. And the green have one. So you want to get as many green dice as you can. So yeah, it's actually really, it's, and it's pretty fun. If it's like you're, you're trying to do something really quickly, wait for somebody, or you're between games, somebody's using the bathroom. I mean, you can play that in like a minute. <laughs> so yeah, that's the type of things right now that I've been doing. Little cute, little tiny things like that. Um, also another little one. I got a few little games I, that I play every so often. Most of these you need another person to play. Uh, like the zombie dice, you need another person. This right here is called Cthulhu Dice. It's like just got one giant die in it. And depending on what you roll, different things happen. So you have so many die, you have so many 
so much sanity, you either gain sanity, steal sanity, or give it away. Things like that. And it's, it's pretty fun. But it cute little games all it is. I mean, it's not something that you're like, oh my, um, this is like, there's really no straight. It's a game, it's, they're games of pure luck. Um, there's not much skill to them. So that's one good thing about it. So it's kind of like, should I go, should I not? Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's like, so it's like, oh, you may score. Like in this one, you, I think it's to nine points. It's, I can't remember. I'd have to look at the instructions. But you may get like over half the points the first t time you go. And then you might get one brain the next few times. So, yeah, it's like you never know. Sometimes I've, I've roamed three green dice and got three gunshots the very first time. Like, okay, well, my turn's over. <laughs> but anyways, um, Yahtzee variant is what this is. The gunshots you you have to keep, the other ones you any other ones you can re-row. Uh, not re-row. I can't remember. It's one of those things. It's just, I don't know. But anyways, I am going to um, in my vlog now. I've actually been rambling for a little bit too long. I've been I've been thinking about board games a lot recently, so that's kind of what I come up here and I'm like, yes, I want to play that. I want to play that. I want to play that. I really want to play that. <laughs> so yeah, I will. Uh, hopefully, I actually want to get out a some of these and actually show the components and talk about them actually do a little a few little videos over them it's just that right now um just not like i haven't been working too long the time constraint right now on it's a little tight but anyways i will talk to everybody later